Hello everybody, this is uh, the Magnet Motor Chronicles Part 1, Episode 1, and what I want to show you is my rotor. I'm going to show you my idea for my magnet motor, but I'm going to start with my rotor. This is a 20 pound steel weight. I got it off an exercise bike. It's pretty free spinning, and what you see right there are the magnets that, that will go on the rotor. Minus this one. This red one right here I've taken off for demonstration purposes to let you know what it's about. Now, um, usually, what happens is when you have a magnet motor, what gets it going is what also stops it. Meaning to say that uh, in here there's a magnet, but it's a sliding magnet. This is what I call a sliding magnet attractive repulsive technology. This this is just like those. It's it's a one of a quartet, one of four, that sits on there and it will attract. And then I'm gonna have it repulse. And when it repulses, it will bounce back in the tube and hopefully not stop the rotor. Because that's what always happens. You can go from zero to 90%, but then it stops because it will not go from the strongest to the weakest. I know a lot of people can get that far, so what, you, what I think you need to do is you need to have a repulsive action right after the strongest magnet gets attracted to. Sometimes you can get to go around 100%, but then it bounces right back to the strongest magnet. Now, if you have it repulse right at that point, in this design, the magnet will not stop the ro uh, rotor, but slide back in the tube one inch, and this, and then stop because it's being repulsed by this one forward. So there's a, there's a little pressure in there. This bounces around inside freely. So I'm using a 20 pound mass rotor with a stator, which I'll show you in my next video. I just want to go on about the rotor in this one. And the way I have these angled is that the center, stop that for a second. Say if I have a repulsive action right here, it'll go to the traction point and then a repulse back in the tube and push straight across to the middle of the next one, giving it more of a torque. So it's gonna bounce back, stop and push it forward all the more. So this is gonna be happening times four. I'm not sure if four is what I need. Perhaps I just need one. But uh, for my first design on this configuration, I'll use four. So I'm calling this sliding magnet attractive repulsive technology. Or smart for short. Hopefully smart will be smart and not dumb. Or uh, dummies using magnets badly. And I've... Uh, Done experiments with that rotor it was very interesting against that configuration which is the starship uh, enterprise configuration and uh, it worked really kind of interestingly because uh, although it didn't work I increased my torque of the wheel the wheel had fantastic torque I couldn't believe it like I doubled or tripled the seemingly uh, the weight of the, the rotor just like just had torque it would move freely whichever way you put it but with that configuration because it's uh against the shape of these magnets where the hole is opposite of the sides uh it would it would be attracted into that but anyways um this is my new stator for for this configuration uh, i'm not expecting a, a tremendous amount of torque but i'm just hoping to get some uh you know some magnet action so that's what I'm doing. So this was part one, and I'll talk to you in part two. Take care, guys.